I'm fucking dead, I'm dude. Sorry. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking yeah. It's just nothing like. You gotta be fucking kidding me! I really want to try to become a pro CS player. Oh no, Summit! No, dude! I swear to God, fuck you! Have you ever tried looking up the male porn stars? Four minutes, three minutes, five. What? Oh. People reported me for that. Are you serious, chat? You can't handle seeing. You can't handle seeing a fucking dick. Just chill. Just wait. Everyone, just wait. Hold your horses, okay? Happened. That just happened. Oh my god. <laughs> Get fucked! Woo! Let's go! Summit! As a kid, Jarrett Summit 1G Lazar saw CS go for the first time while hanging around a card shop and the rest is history. I used to go to this card shop, and one day I walked in, and they had all these computers set up. They were playing Counter-Strike, and that was the first time I'd ever seen Counter-Strike, and I thought it was the coolest looking fucking thing. Summit 1G has kept the moniker 1G from a community forum he was a part of Damn back it. in the days of early Counter-Strike. Summit was actually a jocker of yeah. 1G, but then because the actual 1G club stopped doing like scrimmages and- Like died that, at the end of Wolf It was like a scrim team by the in Counter-Strike yeah. called 1G, and, they brought Summit in at the end, and I think he just repped it for fun, and then on his brand, people started doing the 1G thing, and then he's like, yeah. Holding on tightly to those two archaic characters is just so quintessential Summit. He's the brash veteran, the no-nonsense old head who's been here since the beginning and isn't going to change his ways for anybody. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking, yeah, it's just nothing I... Offline, guys. Later. And that's why the CS community, the 1G crew, and those who have been Twitch fans from the very beginning love him so much. Been watching you for a long time now. Uh, finally, I can give you some support. Love you. Yo, Q-Tricks. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, dude. Very much. Since it's been possible to stream CS, Summit 1G has been doing it. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Summit created his Twitch count on November 30th, 2011, and started streaming regularly October 2013. From the beginning, he's always been all about the game. No matter what he's playing, he's constantly trying to get better and bringing you along for the ride. Behind, 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 uh, behind I killed all of them. Everybody's dead. Summit is widely recognized as one of the first to make it big as a streamer on Twitch, and it's not too hard to see his influence on the platform with a handful of top streamers crediting him as one of the reasons they wanted to get into streaming in the first place. Um, and the reason I started streaming was because of Summit. I was, I was watching Summit play, and back then it was like Warzy, how much he streamed and like inspired me. He quit his job and whatnot. It was just, I was like, I want to do that. Even in the early days of Twitch's mainstream relevancy back in 2015, Summit was drawing a large audience, even by today's lofty standards. In August 2015, he averaged more than 16,000 viewers at a time. Since then, he's managed to hover around those numbers with outstanding consistency, peaking at more than 28K in January of 2018 with a $650 donation from M, dude. We're gonna fucking add it up, so. Okay, shit, now you're for sure the number one donator. What? Oh, shit. No! <laughs> you fucking got in front of the bullet, dude! On stream, Summit's kind of just like you and me. He certainly wears his emotions on his sleeve, and he's not afraid to full-on tilt off in front of thousands of fans. Wow. All right, I'm leaving now. Catch you guys later, GG's. Fuck this game. I'm out of here. Everybody can suck my fucking wiener. Right? I never liked any of you guys. Fuck everything. Games play with our emotions. They pull us in and make us invested in our own success. Oh! Bam! What the fuck? And nobody embodies that feeling of being encapsulated more than Summit. He's fiery. He appreciates a good meme and, well... What would you do?
If there was a child right in front of you, I'd punch that little kid in his fucking teeth. During the infancy of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Summit made the jump from streamer to competitive player. He had toyed with the idea of competing as he was beginning to stream, but committed to it in 2015. I really want to try to become a pro CS player, and I'm even willing to put in the time to get that done. He played in tournaments with Torqued and Area 51 Gaming to middle of the pack results, but to his ever-growing fan base, those results were mostly irrelevant. It will result in a kill and oh. Summit through the hut, a wall bang on nothing. That's gonna do it, he'll get the round, and how many clutches is that for him? In a lot of ways, his semi-pro career could never fail, just because of how nicely it paired with his stream. He was constantly trying to improve and focus on his gameplay, just like his viewers, which made him more relatable than a lot of pros. I'm still gonna obviously be the same streamer, you know, I'm still gonna be talking to you guys a bunch, still gonna be thanks and subs, thanking donations, just having a chill time. Think of it as a Twitch reality show where our protagonist Summit has quit his job and is chasing the professional Counter-Strike dream, and he's taking his fans along for the ride. Flash spawn for me, can you flash spawn? Flash spawn. Woo, let's go, that CT push wow. bitches! In addition to his ability to balance an urge to compete with a successful stream, Summit has also been able to successfully juggle multiple games, which is something that many streamers struggle with. Even in those early years, Summit played DayZ and Rust along with CSGO. Yo, bro, I'm, I just spawned two seconds ago fully fucking naked. Why are you trying to shoot me with your fucking arrows? As long as he was playing a shooter, people would show up and watch. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> Summit's stream was steady, but his hunger for more competitive success had not subsided. So in 2016, he gave it another shot, this time with Splice, during which he would compete in the largest event of his pro career, DreamHack Austin 2016. Doesn't think that Splice are going to be playing that aggressively now, so he shut down Summit, walking right up there over towards me with a Tech 9. He's going to find another frag on a Taco. Austin was also the site of the most memorable moment of Summit's professional career, a play that will go down in Counter Strike history as one of the game's biggest fails. And now it's Summit in the 1v1 to try and close this out against Bugly. Bugly playing it aggressively now, but Summit's going to clutch it and Splice. We'll close out map number one, 16 to 11. <laughs> oh wait, what? Summit clutches the round for his team, but in retrospect, his celebration was a little premature as no. he walked directly into the flames of his own oh, Molotov, no. dying and handing over the round to CLG. As cringy as it may be to watch, oh, this might just be the quintessential summit oh moment. God. Now when you die to a Molotov by yourself, it's called pulling a summit. It's the perfect intersection of his high skill and at times goofy persona. It's the type of thing his chat would flame him for on stream, and he did it at a pro CS tournament. Like when it happened, I was like, dude, my life's over. Like I can't even step foot in the world right now. Like I just... My life's over. And what's more is that sense that Summit has owned his mistake. He's wielded it, and it could be argued that he's seen even more success as a streamer because of it. Kind of like created a name for ourselves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> After his time with Splice, Summit played with Mythic, a semi-pro CSGO team filled with popular streamers. His time with Mythic allowed him to scratch his itch for competitive play, but also stream the games live on his channel, giving him and his viewers the best of both worlds. Let's go! As summer 2017 rolled around, Summit was hit by the same infatuation as almost every other streamer and gamer in the FPS world. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Is he in the barracks? I'm insane. PUBG certainly flipped the script on streaming shooters. The pace of play is perfect and gives streamers ample time to interact with their chat between games. I'm just so gosh darn Back mad. To too. The subs who pay me thousands of dollars every day aren't doing what I like, and the video game I play has been anything but favorable. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy, dude. Don't worry, I'll shake it off later in a GTR that you're helping me pay for. I appreciate it. 
the whole experience is more like a television show or a movie rather than constant gameplay. Didn't clean it. Get in the boat. Get in the boat! No? Yes! Oh, yes go, go. Come pick me up! Since battle royales have blown up, Summit has stayed away from competitive play. Just as big personalities like Shroud have been able to focus on being professional streamers rather than professional <laughs> gamers. A distinction that has become a lot more clear and plausible since battle royales have arrived. There it is, boys. Summit 1G is an old school gamer. He's been around since the humble beginnings of both Twitch and esports. But even a guy with his feet as cemented in the scene as Summit is, isn't immune to the hate. As we saw earlier this year. Yo, um, chat, just come on, guys. It's a, it's just, crazy. just relax, dudes, okay? Like I don't know why you guys are freaking out. Summit took major heat from his fan base for his choice to stream Fortnite with controversial YouTube star Jake Paul. Disappointed uh, that, that we have morals really and Jake doesn't follow with any, he's sick. Bro, you're uh, disappointed that a guy is playing ooh, a video game with another human being that you you happen to not like from a YouTube series that you don't watch. All right, relax. At first glance, it may seem pretty tame. A harmless marketing move to collaborate with an incredibly famous person in the biggest game in the world. But this is gaming, where loyalty is everything. No, I love you, homie, but I'm a little disappointed that you're playing with him. I still think you're great, but can't watch this with him in it. Love you, hey man, feel free. I understand completely. So now that we're here, and someone like Summit, the guy who quit his job to become a streamer years ago, is streaming the new hot game with a millionaire clickbait enthusiast, his fans really put him on blast. If you're gonna look at it from like a business perspective, playing with them, it ain't good for you. Like, who gives a fuck how many subs they have? The your sub becomes completely cancer, and your entire environment and channel becomes garbage. You know, you're gaming with someone like just to game with them, and like, it doesn't matter. You know, you know who you who you associate yourself with is very important. And then Summit reacted by doing a full stream without interacting with his chat at all. Everyone's jumping down my throat about playing a game, playing some games with Jake Paul, and it's just like, what did you guys want me to do? You know, he DMs me and says, "Hey man, your stream's dubbed, dude. What do you want me to be like? Don't talk to me. I fucking hate you. You're a shitty human being." Oh, that Since that fateful April stream, Summit's viewership has taken a bit of a dip. He was averaging almost 20k viewers in April, dipping to just over 16k in May, and then just over 14k in July. It took a long time for esports to be taken seriously in the mainstream, and it's for that reason that its fans can be critical of their heroes. They want consistency, absolute undying passion, oh and loyalty. Oh, esports ready. Oh my fucking goodness, dude. With that said, fans of Summit have historically been People pretty hard on their favorite streamer. Chat. He often yeah, seems to be the butt of their jokes. Even back in 2016, Summit was swatted by his own chat while mobile streaming himself playing Pokemon Go in a park. I was holding my hands up. I was going to make a move. You know, I wasn't going to go turn my stream off with one yeah, hand. You know, exactly. I, was, I was a little nervous. I mean, dude, you got guys pointing rifles. They weren't pistols, man. Yeah, they were rifles. Recently, he's admitted that he's developed a lot of anxiety around streaming and that going live has become a taxing and overwhelming process. Coming in here in front of you guys is <laughs> it's the hardest thing I've had to do in a long time. I know I've done this for years, and it just doesn't make sense to me why uh, why it's scary to get on, why it's scary to sit here in front of you guys, why it's scary to talk. We're back. I'm hoping that we're here to stay. Hopefully we don't have any fucking problems. I'm feeling healthy. Um... Dude, we're in there. We're in there. Everything's everything's good, man. Everything's good. Everything's coming full circle. One dead. It's coming up, last one. It's coming up. Oh, some some. Some some. Oh shit, you good? <laughs> you are a lucky guy, acid. That was a headshot on my screen, homie. That was a fucking headshot on my screen, chat. I want that slow motion clipped right now. The old guard of esports needs somewhere to go and someone to flame. Somewhere to check out the new Call of Duty game or get a nice daily dosage of streamer salt. And Summit 1G will always be there for that. Holy shit, I just killed Summit 1G, dude! Don't act like it was a skill-based, bitch! I fucked you up! Summit, the fuck? What's what are you up? doing, Summit? Listen, bitch, don't tell me how to play games, alright? I've been playing them longer than your whole life. 
Summit 1G isn't the hero or the villain of the streaming world. He's simply adapting the way he always has. To be able to do 10K viewers, 9K viewers, 8K viewers, playing any game, it's a, that's the fucking dream right there, mm -hmm. bros. You know? You don't need to be slamming. I don't need to be slamming 500K a month and shit, dude, to be happy. I'm very happy. As we watch this world grow, there's more pressure on people like Summit than anyone else to play hot games like Fortnite or PUBG. To market themselves the way the likes of Ninja, Shroud, and Dr. Disrespect have been able to. Some of you guys are ride or die 1Gs no matter what, and I respect yeah, it, you know that's what I'm another, saying? Uh... To goof off, to meme, to be the five tool streamer that viewers have come to expect. I think I blocked the molly. I did. Oh, I'm insane. That was a complete accident. I had butt of the molly. One G's in the chat. Get fucked, <laughs> Molotov. Summit was there when it all started on Twitch, and you better believe he's going to scrap and claw to stick around now that all oh eyes <laughs> are on that purple icon. Summit 1G isn't going anywhere. Oh, I'm nuts! I'm fucking insane! Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.